or to say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode. I've got a question for you guys today. Let's have a little discussion here. How do we make this game more fun? It's a simple question. How do we do that? Well, right off the bat, one thing we could do is uh, get rid of this stupid message that says you can configure the map brightness and contrast in the graphic settings that pops up every time you want to show a replay. It doesn't pop up when I uh, watch my own, but when I watch the ones you guys send me, it pops up every freaking time. But no, seriously, that's a, that's a minor little replay glitch. Let's get back to the question. How do we make this game more fun? Or maybe uh, we could ask the question, how do we make this game uh, less toxic? Uh, they're not the same question, but if you think about it, the kind of the toxic trolling behavior of a lot of the uh, uh, players the community in the game really decreased the fun factor for a lot of people uh, for everybody and we're going to watch a couple of games here uh, actually this was sent in by the su 100 m1 driver as a, a, a biggest asshole entry because he's not going to have very much fun uh, and there's two games here and let's just watch what i think it's a really good example of how just little things innocent little things that shouldn't really matter just raise the tension and the toxicity and just that overall anger factor that could escalate and just ruin the experience for everyone uh, those involved and everyone around them the whole game so the two questions how do you make the game more fun how do you make the game less toxic let's leave aside the how do we make it more fun to start with because it's already in essence a fun game that's why we're here in the first place so let's concentrate on the how do we make it more toxic because i think we can all agree that the uh, the toxic behavior the team killing the team pushing the raging in chat that kind of stuff uh, the trolling uh, the belittling people the insulting that's what has made a lot of people stop playing and that's kind of the the hardest stuff to uh, fix because you can write the programs and you can make the game, but you can't control the people that are playing it, can you? One guy was talking to this about, uh, about this with one guy, and he said, there's only two things wrong with World of Tanks. Uh, that is uh, the developers and the players. <laughs> so, but you know, that, that may be true. But let's get into it here. The, and and Wargaming has done uh, made changes in the past to decreased toxic behavior that have I think improved things for instance in the past uh, there was cross team chat you would you could talk to your uh, teammates and the enemies and it was a shit show because uh, uh, people who died that were upset would start raging at the enemy team and it got to the point where if there's one or two of your teammates left fighting trying to to win there were toxic players that were telling the enemy uh, their teammates' positions in chat. My asshole teammates had H4. Uh, and so people, some guy who's on six kills fighting one versus three trying to win Kolobanov's medal was getting called out and raged at by his own team telling the enemy team where he is. So uh, Wargaming removed cross-game chat, and I think that was a good thing. So now there's a lot of different kinds of toxic behavior. I'm not going to get into all of them, but there's I could just... I've got some solutions for just a couple. The I think three that really piss people off. Uh, that some simple changes uh, could could fix things. Now this is the first one. Uh, there's a guy on the team here, the defender who has died, and now has decided to ping the map in the corner, uh, and he's going to ping uh, probably about 580 times now until this game is over. Okay. There he goes. Uh, this one's a simple one, right? Wargaming, come on. Just reduce the amount of pinging. Uh, maybe after you've died, you're only allowed to ping the map uh, 10 times. You don't have to ping the map 700 times. I know you can block someone and blah, 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 but a lot of people are in the heat of the battle. They're, they're trying their best. This just induces rage, right? As we know this, the scientists have uh, worked on this uh, psychologist, and we know that our environment... Uh, affects uh, how we uh, behave. A nice peaceful environment makes for a lot uh, a better society than a, a stressful, uh, you know, like a, a freaking Mac pinger just raises the stress levels uh, for everybody. 
everybody on this team now is thinking that prick i wish he would stop and they're it's just inducing rage they're going to go into their next game with just that little just slightly elevated rage level and um simple just reduce the amount of map pings and uh, look at the chap now you know rage he's dead and he's a uh, shitter it, it's just it's just everyone on this team now the the rage stress level is just one up just a little bit just a notch that freaking map pinger and they go into the next game just slightly more elevated in their rage level and uh, just reduce the map pings that's an easy one but hey you didn't come here to you know i'm not gonna fix world of tanks just by saying hey reduce the map pings you didn't come here to watch that that's that's simple that's you can do that in a in 15 minutes right micro patch done here it is the very next game uh, same guy same player he's playing his uh, t28 now just so happens the same defender is on his uh, team in the very next game you watch and see what happens but the stress level has just been moved up so here's my ideas on how we could at least decrease the uh, the the toxicness and the stress the, the stuff that leads to people just snapping and uh, some other games have implemented this it's not uh, it's not new but and it all stems from we've learned this with uh, dumb animals that we've had to train right like dogs you want to train a dog there's two ways you can, the dog uh, does something and you don't like what he, he does. You can get the, a rolled up newspaper and whack on the snout, right? Bad boy, smack! And then the dog cowers and puts his uh, tail between his legs and, and sits there in the corner. You just, no! Uh, that's, that's one way, because he crapped in the corner uh, on your brand new carpet. Well, do you think he's learned anything? The next time you leave the house, that guy, he's going to purposely crap in the same corner just to spite you right it, it, that's not how you learn the better way is uh take the dog outside make him uh crap in the park give him a treat good boy no good boy right then he's so happy that he got his treat he's going to crap outside instead of on the carpet that's how you train a, a stupid animal how do you train stupid players to not be uh, toxic well it's the same thing the penalty system uh, reported Oh, you're, you're banned for one hour. It, that's people just learn uh, how the system, well, I'm going to get banned for an hour. Big deal. I'll take the ban. I'll come back. Then I can shoot uh, two more teammates again. Uh, that, the negative just causes the, the resentment and rage again. So let's switch it around. Let's, uh, let's, let's not worry too much about the bans and, and, uh, and the negative and the penalties. Why don't we come up with a, a positive system, an honor system like some of the other games? And that is when you play a game and you have a really good game and you have a great teammate, uh, you click his name on the list there and instead of the complain button coming up, uh, it's um, a honor badge button comes up or a, or a star or a, a played well. Uh, you play League of Legends, they have this, right? You have a really good uh, teammate. You can click on him and give him a pat on the back. This guy, I enjoyed playing with this guy. And then as an incentive, uh, every month, you could uh, come up with, if a player has uh, uh, received 500 of these other random players have said, I've enjoyed playing with this player. He gets 500 stars or 500 clicks. He gets a prize and not an insignificant, you know, not like a, oh, you have won a free fire extinguisher. He, he gets uh, five days of premium or he, uh, he gets a, a special premium tank or he gets uh, uh, a bunch of uh, uh, one of those things called the boosters or something uh, significant, something worthwhile. Uh, reward the positive behavior. And of course, there's going to be people going to try and abuse this too, right? Buddies are going to try and vote for each other. Clan mates. Well, y you can make little changes. Uh, you know, platoon mates cannot uh, uh, give you a star or a, uh, no one on your friends list can vote for each other. Just in random games, maybe you c you're only limited to one vote per game. And then after time, there could be a statistic of this. There could be the guys that get the most votes are the gentlemen in the community. And then the guys that never get voted on are the assholes. And you could actually have a ranking and the people at the top of the rank can get some prizes and get some reward. Now look at this in the chat. Our player here has realized that the same guy who was pinging in the last game uh, is in this game and he types a message in chat. 
uh, just to instigate a little bit. And uh, the defender on his team does not like this, so he shoots him in the ass for almost 400 damage. Which is the next thing that just raises the rage level in the game, and that's team damage. And that is, uh, it's just, there's been a debate, should there be or shouldn't there? Oh, let's just remove team damage. If, uh, or if you do team damage, you get the same amount of damage uh, on yourself. But it just becomes stupid. And I understand why team damage is in the game. It's, it's technically called friendly fire. And sometimes in a situation in the heat of the moment when you're, uh, there's a wolf pack or you're driving around fast and you actually make a mistake and shoot your teammate, that shit happens. And um, uh, that's part of the game. It should be. Uh, but, of course, people abuse it and start doing what you're witnessing on your screen right now. So how do we, how do we decrease the on-purpose team damage? Well, I've, here's my idea. I was team damaged a couple of games ago. Some guy took 800 HP or something off me. And then uh, at the end of the battle, I checked and I was compensated. I got like 1,200 credits. And I thought, 1,200 credits? Like, for crying out loud. That's a joke. And then I, I started thinking, well, wait a minute. Uh, this is a game where you have a garage and there's economics and uh, you have to make credits to buy your ammo and this and that. Well, if you do team damage, why aren't you court-martialed at the end and, and fined? So, and not a, a 1,200 credit fine. Let's make it significant. So here's the idea. You shoot someone, the first shot when you shoot someone, uh, you get fined 100,000 credits. The second time you shoot someone at 250,000 credits. The third time, half a million credits. The fourth time, you're banned. You turn blue and you're banned, like uh, this defender is on his way to doing. And a million credits. You know, at the end of the game, uh, the message popped up. Uh, you have been court-martialed. You have shot your teammate three times. You have been levied a total of 850,000 credit fine. 850,000 credits will be transferred uh, to the account of the player you shot. GG. Oh, but Klaus, what happens if uh, you shoot someone all those times and you don't have the credits? Well, that's easy. Uh, uh, you have shot your teammate three times. You've been leveled at 850,000 credit fine. Uh, you do not have that much. We have transferred uh, 300,000 credits to his account. You still owe him uh, 550,000 credits. 10% uh, of your earnings uh, in your future games will be transferred as compensation until you pay off your debt to the player that you shot. Think about that. So then the, the guy plays his next 150 games and 10% of the credits before deductions are transferred to uh, the guy he shot till his debt is paid off. He, uh, it'll put asshole team uh, killers, team damagers out of business. They won't be able to afford it. Because uh, if they just, uh, they shoot someone two times here, three times there, they turn blue, they get banned for an hour, they come back, they shoot another guy. You know, they'll have so much debt to pay, uh, it'll put them out of business. They'll have to pay to do team damage. They'll have to, the war game will like this. They'll have to go out and buy gold so they can convert it to credits to afford to, sh you'll make money on it. There you go. So in the situations where you accidentally shoot someone and it's a legit uh, friendly fire, oh well, you screw it up, you get fined 100,000 credits. But if you shoot someone three, four times, the, the penalty just keeps increasing until it costs you a fortune. Wargaming could uh, put it on uh, one of their patch note releases. You're thinking of doing team damage before you pull the trigger? Think about it, because it's gonna cost you big time. I guarantee you implement that uh, you keep the element of friendly fire in the game, uh, but 90, 95% of people that just rage and do team damage will, they'll only do it once, because when they, they have to play 100 games to pay off the debt, they're going to think, shit, that wasn't worth it, and they're going to stop doing it. That would clean up team damage, and I tell you, it, uh, it would sure stop those artillery players that uh, they see a shot there, there's a teammate right beside, and they take the shot anyway, and they damage their teammate and the enemy, they'd think about it if it was a 100,000 uh, credit penalty. They'd have to actually use their brains before they pull the trigger. Now think about it, guys. Uh, the best solutions to problems are the simplest, most elegant solutions. And uh, we could list 142 uh, things wrong with the game and, and come up with 142 solutions. You should change this, change that. But you know, Wargaming is not going to change the game. 
it's a good game to start. They've put a lot of work into making the game. The game is the game. There's just, if you could, just a couple of subtle tweaks that could change the, um, the atmosphere and the environment to reduce the rage level uh, would just make a happier community and player base that would lead to less toxicity. Less toxicity, I think people would start having more fun. I think it'd be a win-win. So my three simple ideas here, I mean, one of them's a throwaway. Just stop the map pingers, for Christ's sakes. That's a no-brainer. But the two ideas, let's just recap them here quickly while we watch the end of this game. The one is the honor system. Is it's, it's just like you would click on a person's name to report them for something bad. Let's, let's put an option there. You click on the person's name and you give him a commendation. I enjoyed playing with this player. This, he was a gentleman. I want to click on his name and say, yeah, thanks, buddy. I enjoyed playing with you. And then Warwick Gaming can tally up these statistics and actually make an incentive for, for receiving those commendations. A meaningful incentive. Maybe a monthly uh, prize to the guys that uh, get the most commendations. Or if you achieve a certain amount of commendations, you win uh, something meaningful in the game. It'll give people an incentive to actually be gentlemen. Think about it. It's like the dog, right? Nice boy, good boy, here's your treat. He's not going to crap on the carpet if, if you give him treats for crapping outside. That's how you train dumb animals. That's how we can train the dumb community. And I say that as, as a joke, really. They're not dumb animals. They're smart animals. And they're responding to their environment and their stimulus. Positive reinforcement uh, makes them learn. You can even teach an old dog new tricks. You can with positive feedback. And the, uh, the team damage, the, the other huge source of, uh, of rage and tension in the game. Well, I understand that it should be in there. There should be an element of friendly fire. But if someone's going to pull the trigger on purpose to shoot his own teammate, make it, make him pay for it. It's going to cost you. And that's not 1,200 credits or 18, the cost of repair. No, a meaningful uh, penalty. Uh, your general has reviewed your battle results and you have been court-martialed. You shot your teammate four times. You turned blue. You have been... Uh, uh, issued a penalty of 1.85 million credits. Would you like to pay cash or would you like to pay over your next 400 games? And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding about the 100,000, 250,000, 500,000 credit penalty for team damage. One shot, uh, that's friendly fire. Two, three, four shots in a row, that's just toxicity that ruins the game forever. You implement that. Uh, the uh, court marshalling and paying the penalty if the guy can't afford it he has to 10% uh, of his income for the next 300 games to pay it off team damage will be a purpose on purpose team damage will be eliminated 99% eliminated guaranteed those are my ideas guys uh, I thought I'd do a video where I actually uh, uh, suggest something that I think uh, would improve things. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of my ideas or if you have any different ideas in the... Leave your comments in the comment section. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and share it. Share it to people. Maybe you can get some uh, comments from people that don't normally watch my videos. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will catch you on the next one.